Hello, my name is Ricardo from Nautel Customer Support. Today I'll be doing a Nautel Customer Training video on how to install your VSHD upgrade system on your VS transmitter. After removing all connections to the VS transmitter, ensuring that the power is off and disconnected, place the transmitter on a secure work surface and ensure that you have your anti-static bracelet. Remove all hardware from the transmitter and remove the top. Exposing the exciter. In current configuration, the exciter is feeding internally the VS transmitter. By removing the cable and connecting it to the external exciter feed, you are now allowing the VSHD to feed the exciter the VS transmitter. Once we have completed all modifications to the exciter, we will replace the top, replace the hardware, and turn the transmitter over on our workbench. Then remove the hardware, remove the bottom, and expose the RF stage. What we will do now is remove the splitter input and secure it. This connection will not be needed for the VSHD stage. We will then remove the RF input, feed it into the splitter input, and secure it. Once this has been completed, we can replace the bottom, replace the hardware, and all modifications needed for the VS transmitter to operate in HD are complete. Once we complete the VS HD modifications, we will be able to put the VS transmitter back into its slot in the rack and move the VS HD box into the slot prepared. We are ready for the connections from the transmitter to the VS HD box. Nautel provides several cables. One is an XMTR link cable. Please ensure that you connect it into the XMTR link cable on the transmitter instead of into its LAN connection. Next cable that's provided is the RF sample out to be connected into the XMTR sam RF sample in. The other cable is the DCEP connection. This is for your audio. Make sure that's connected in. One thing to note, this connection also goes into your remote IOS. This is exactly in pins 19 and 20 where your interlock exists. To be able to ensure that the transmitter operates properly, remove the hardware, undo the clips, and ensure that your interlock circuit is properly connected on this DSAB. Maltel provides the crimps for your RF outputs, but we do not provide the cable. However, for the purpose of this demonstration, a cable has already been completed. Enter the RF output from the VSHD into the RF in external that we have already prepared. All cables that enter into the transmitter should have ferrites attached to them to ensure that RFI does not enter into your system. Complete any other commissioning processes that are required, such as power and any other audios that you wish to install. And your setup is complete. You are now ready to configure for HD broadcasting. Now that we've completed the modifications to the VS transmitter, as well as connected the HD transmitter to the VS, we'll just need to configure the VS to be able to receive from the HD. Make sure that your transmitter is in local mode, then go into your menus, scroll down to system settings, and you're looking for RF drive source. Hit the check mark and search for VS HD exciter. And once you select the check mark, you're done. The rest of the configurations will be done through the AUI.